We are again starting with a basic box-like structure. I'm actually going to flip that around. There we go. And uh, take a second, pause the video, and draw that. And then we'll get into making stairs. Um, stairs kind of come in two ways. You can do them two ways. It depends on what you like uh, and what works for you. I've found students like to do one or the other, so I'm going to show you both. Uh, the first way, which I'll do on the right side here, would be on your structure, make a line from your right vanishing point. This is going to be like the top back part of the step that connects to this object. Then I go over to the left vanishing point, and I create two lines that come off of that. Notice both of those extend all the way to that point. This one's going that way. Now I'm going to create the front of the top of my step by going from the front edge here and creating the top of the stair. It's almost like you're creating the top of a box without the sides. Then from my two corners I created in the front, I'm going to go straight down. That's the rise of my step as opposed to the run. Now I'm not just going to connect those. I'm going to make sure to line up over with the vanishing point and connect. I've got a little bit hanging off at the bottom. I'm going to erase that stuff. And that created a step. Now I just have to repeat that process over and over again, and the step kind of zigzags down. So I start over there, two lines coming out. Come back over to this side. Put the front on. Vertical line, vertical line front back on this way. And you get kind of a rhythm going. Back over here, step comes out. Put the front on, vertical line, vertical line. Put the front on, erase any excess. Ta-da, we have created the top of our stairs but stairs have a side on them, so we need to finish that off. We finish it off like any other box. Vertical line down, go from here back. There's the side of my stairs going up to my building. Pretty simple. Gotta love the kids yelling in the hallway because they're not in class. Hopefully you are doing this right now. Uh, on the other side, I'll show you the other way to create stairs, which really, kind of functions out of creating the side of a box. So, if you make a vertical line somewhere like that, right, and you line up with your far vanishing point, we're not gonna make the whole box. We're just gonna make the side. So we make those two lines out and we put a vertical line on the end of it. See how it looks like the side over here? It's the side of the box, all right? We can erase this other stuff behind it too because it'll most likely get covered or be in our way and we don't want it to confuse us. Now that you've done that, what we're in effect gonna do is create the side of the stair before creating the steps. And to do that, we start by making a vertical line down. Then, this is the critical part, we gotta line up with our vanishing point as we extend out each time. So, I'm gonna extend out, vertical line down, line up the vanishing point, extend out, vertical line down. So you can see how we've basically created the same shape here that we have over here. It's kind of like we're creating the side of the stairs before the tops. I can then erase this extra stuff that I didn't need. And here's where people can get kind of confused and it gets tricky. From each of these corners, every corner, the top, like, I want to say like the outside and inside corners, all of them, we are going to extend to this vanishing point. And it helps if you actually line them all the way up to that vanishing point so you don't get confused because if you try to just wing it and only do it part way, like we do sometimes, so we save on erasing. For some reason with stairs, when people do that, their stairs get off and they aren't looking right. So you can see here now how these are zooming all the way to the back. It looks like stairs off into infinity. So we gotta put the other side on now. So what we can do to do that is pick a point where you want your rise to be. How about right there, vertical line? 
and I'm going to walk it up the stairs using my far vanishing point. Cut across, vertical, cut across to the vanishing point, vertical, cut across to the vanishing point. And there we go, we have our stairs. We can erase all this extra stuff that we don't need. <clears throat> and we can put the side of this building back in right here where we can still see it from our earlier erased lines. So that's stairs two way. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you do them. Sometimes doing them this way where you go step by step works better for a spot. Other times doing them this way where you draw the whole side in works better. It's really up to you and what works for you.